What is there to say about this? Um, friend, companion, pretty much the first guy to never break my heart. That's pretty much sums him up in a nutshell. I'm an only child, didn't really have many friends growing up. I was kind of singled out, bullied, I guess because I was different from everybody else and their stupid mindset. And until he came into my life, he became the only other thing that never judged me and just showed unconditional love no matter what. I mean, no matter, <laughs> no matter what kind of a mood I may have been in or what kind of mood he may have been in, no matter what, he would we see each other and just nothing. Just forget about our, all our anger and hate. And it was just love. He wasn't my brother, he wasn't a friend, he was my cat. His name was Socks. Started off when I was about nine years old. At the time I was staying with uh, my Nana, she was a friend of the family, and um, one day she got a kitten. She was an indoor cat until she got older and she had to go outside. I guess she reached her adolescent age where <laughs> she was able to mate and she had uh, her first litter of kittens. And the one that stood out to me was this little black and white ball of fur that was uh, towards her front, um, her front legs. And when I saw him there, I knew, I knew he was gonna be mine. He was always kind of an ugly kitten, but he had these beautiful, beautiful green eyes, and that's what made him stood. That's what made him stand out. It was his beautiful green eyes. I remember at one point, I took him outside to the backyard, and we had, I jumped over the fence. It was kind of like an alleyway between the, between the houses, and um, just let him walk around, wander around, and I turn around to go back. And all of a sudden, he goes into a neighbor's yard, into a, through a hole in the fence, and I got so scared. I was, I thought I was gonna lose him right there. I was like, please, please come back, come back, get over here, please. Just beckoning him to come back, he wouldn't come back. I started crying, cause I thought he was gonna, he was gonna run away from me. I'm like, please, please don't run away. Right there is where I think I felt that bond, the thought of losing him. And, uh, yeah, in that instant, I knew I didn't want to lose him. He came back to me after, after me crying incessantly for him. And when he came back, I held him in my arms, and I wouldn't let him go until I got back into the house. I was just holding on to him so tight. I, I loved him so much. I didn't want him to, to get lost or get injured. I... From that moment on, I, I protected him with my life. Just a couple months shy before his 19th birthday, getting ready to go out with some friends, and I get a call. It's my mom. She says, Erica, we're taking the cat into the vet. Something's wrong with him. He's just, he's not responsive. We're taking him into the vet because we think he may be dying. Just hearing that is just one moment where you, s you stop and be like, can you say that again? Can you please repeat that? Hang up the phone. Tell I look to my husband and say, Socks is dying. That moment is where I just, I, I completely lost it because I realized I, eat, I'm finally going to lose my cat. Go into the vet's office and he's just in his carrier. We unscrewed it, took the top off, picked him up, laid him on the table. I just realized this was going to be the last time I was going to be with him. In the end, it didn't look like he was in pain. He was just starting to go. He was 
He was cold. He was he was so thin. He was so thin. I couldn't believe it. Everything was going pale. He was so cold. I kissed his I kissed his head. I held him I held him close. Whispered in his ear that I love you, socks. I love you so much. I'm so glad that you were able to live this long. I know he's gone, and in a way I am kind of happy because I don't have to worry anymore because I know he's at peace. He'll be with us no matter what. I still feel like he's with me. I mean, he's there to comfort me, and yeah, he's, he's there to comfort all of us. As long as we still have his memory, then, um, He's never truly gone. He's still in our heart. I don't think I've ever loved anything as fully as, as him. I don't know how to describe it because I don't have children yet, but it's just a such a love there for him. That it's never gonna go away, no matter what. I mean, even if we get a, another animal, another cat or a dog, I mean, nothing's gonna replace him. Socks will always be socks. 